Uh, this is about why I'm glad uh, I'm not black. Uh, and the first reason is black people. Black people say uh, I should be glad not to be black uh, because white people have privilege. Uh, white people have more wealth and more power in this country, which is true of every country uh, in China. Chinese people uh, have more stuff than uh, the newcomers uh, in Saudi Arabia. The Saudis are richer than the immigrants who are doing all the work in Peru. The Peruvians have the money and so on. So white people in Britain uh, having more than black people in Britain is a local instance of a universal circumstance. It's not a crime. Uh, and I'm glad I'm not black because I don't have leaders encouraging me to blame people in one country for something that's true in every country. And I don't have leaders telling me to feel deprived and victimized by people who are wealthier than me. I don't have leaders telling me to say everything I have uh, is my achievement and everything I don't have is someone else's fault. And I'm glad I'm not black because when a woman crosses the road to avoid me at night, uh, which happens a lot, as you can probably tell, um, I say it's because it's late. I'm male. I'm six foot. I'm a stranger. She's smaller and weaker and carrying a bag, which is easy to snatch. So she has four or five reasons to cross the street, not one. And I'm glad I'm not black because when I failed my driving test, I blame my driving, not the examiner. And when my articles were rejected, I blame the articles, not the editor. And when I failed an interview, I knew I was bad, not the interviewer or the system. So I looked inwardly. I made myself change. I improved. And if I were black, my leaders would be telling me to look outwardly, to blame others for my failure, and to ask other people to change while I stayed the same and didn't improve because other people were at fault. And that's a ready-made excuse for failure. That keeps me down, keeps me demoralized, keeps me dependent on my leaders, which I think is where black leaders want their people to be, down, demoralized, and dependent on them and their theories of racial intolerance, which they promote because it pays their wages, it makes them important, and it justifies integration programs and quota systems, which are embarrassing. And if I were black, I'd be ashamed to see special help for black people to get into opera and ballet when there's no special help for white people to get into rap and basketball and gospel singing. It's as if rap and basketball and gospel singing aren't proper parts of our culture. They're just funny things that black people do at the weekends. I'd be embarrassed if I were black to see that there are subsidies for all black drama groups to produce bad plays in half-empty theatres, but there are no subsidies for white athletes to run the 100 metres at nowhere near record-breaking times in half-empty stadiums. So I'm glad I'm not black because I'm not always being treated as a needy case dependent on white kindness, which is just racial superiority and white supremacism with a charitable smile and a check for special funding that comes from taxes, mainly on the poor, of whom black people form a disproportionately large fraction. So I'm glad I'm not black and paying taxes to white people so they can condescend to me with my own money and set up rigged processes to help me get ahead because they think I'm second rate. So I'm glad I'm not asked to benefit from inclusivity programs, which are always divisive in the end, because including a black person means excluding a white person and leads to resentment and blame. And that might spread to my job. People might wonder if I got appointed on skin colour, not brain power. It might spread to my home as well. Did I qualify for my council house because of racial nepotism? So I'm glad I'm not black because my leaders haven't told me I'm owed a debt by the native English people. Uh, just because I'm from a migrant family, which, as it happens, I am. My parents were born overseas, not in British territories, and they came to London to work and to prosper, not to ask for help or to spread accusations. They came to make themselves rich and happy, not to make the English poor and angry. I found that the English are quite good at making themselves poor and angry without the help of migrants. And suggesting that migrants or their children want or expect unearned privileges is a slur on migration itself. Uh, and finally, I'm glad I'm not black, because black people should have thought of a better insult for white people than cracker, uh, a word so inoffensive that it's in supermarkets, Jacob's Cream Cracker. Uh, it also means a Christmas novelty item, a beautiful woman, or a funny joke, that's a cracker. Uh, it's like whites calling black people roast chestnuts or charcoal biscuits and expecting them to start a riot. Come on, black people, you can do better than this.